long I can hardly wait to get back to the Lord again There's something in my soul That tells me it's so good to have him back again I've seen the world But it all looks upside down So I'm going back to Jesus Jesus, I'm coming back to you In the wind, I changed my ways and set my homeward sails again. With Jesus as my light, I know that I could never, ever fail again. As long as I Jesus, Jesus, I'm coming back to you. Jesus, I'm coming back to you. So won't you come along? There's room enough for you within the heart of me. Just give yourself to Him. I'm coming back to coming back to Jesus Jesus I'm coming back to you. going back to Jesus Jesus I'm coming back to going back to Jesus Jesus I'm coming back to Come, my friend. 
all the time Help me to be patient As I watch and as I pray Growing in your love each day Well, yesterday's gone, 
help me today Show me the way One day at a time will never be there.
Well, if you're lonely and looking for friendship And you're lost but you want to be found Well, there's plenty of room in the family of God And plenty of love to go round Plenty of room in the family Room for the young and the old Plenty of happiness, plenty of love Plenty of room in the home Plenty of room in the family Room for the young and the old Plenty of happiness, plenty of love Plenty of room in the home Plenty of happiness, plenty of love Plenty of room There's a lighthouse on the hillside that overlooks life's sea. When I'm tossed, it sends. Test. Good evening, everyone. Happy Sabbath. Um, shall we all stand um, as we pray before we start this program? Shall you pray? Dear God, our Father in heaven, in this very hour of the Sabbath, Lord, we humbly come before your throne of grace, bringing praises, honor, and glory upon your name for your goodness that you have done unto us. Thank you, dear Father, for answering us in our prayers throughout the week. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us safe during our travel. Thank you, Lord, for the food that you have prepared on our tables each and every day. So tonight, dear Father, as we celebrate your love, your faithfulness, and your mercy unto us, we invite you, Lord, to be with us tonight in your spirit. We pray that you send each of the guardian angels of these children here to be in their side, to sing with them, Lord, in unison and in harmony, bringing praises honor and glory to your throne of grace there in heaven. Father, we pray that these songs, these musics, will give happiness and joy in your heart, seeing these children have been faithful unto you, even amidst this pandemic. So, Father, I pray that you keep these children in good health, be with them, Lord, in their studies. 
Guide them, Lord, as they learn your ways each and every day. So be with us now, Lord, including all the congregation that is standing right now. Keep us in good health, strength our, strengthen our immune systems, and provide us, Lord, with the things that we need in accordance to your will. Thank you so much, dear Father, for being with us. Thank you for hearing our prayers and for the assurance that you will answer, answer it, Lord. All of these things we ask with the forgiveness of our sins in the name of your one and only Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. King David wrote Psalms 100 that says, Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all the lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with singing. Know that the Lord, He is God. It is He who has made us and not we ourselves. We are His people and the sheep of His pasture. Enter into His gates with thanksgiving and into His courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name, for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. It has been a long nine months since the outbreak of the virus COVID-19 that put the whole world at still. Businesses closed down, social and religious gatherings were prohibited, classes were put into halt. Events were postponed, church door closed, and the bells of the civil fair stopped ringing. People were locked in their homes, and the streets put off its light. It seems the world stopped revolving while, corona, while, while coronavirus continuously claiming millions of lives around the globe. Indeed, those nine months seemed to be a nightmare to everyone. Fear engulfed the heart of every person as each one cried out for help. Looking back at those long nine months and what this COVID-19 brought to us, we don't have any reason not to praise God. For those nine months, He preserved our lives until this moment. Those long nine months of ordeal with COVID-19 may not be over yet, but as children of God, we have His hope that he will keep us safe and unharmed under the shadow of his wings. This pandemic has a lot of lessons to teach us, and much more. It is the awakening call for the children of God, calling us to get out from the world and live faithfully as we await for his soon return and claim the infinite gift that our loving God prepared for us. Good evening, brothers and sisters in Christ. We welcome each and every one who came tonight to join us in our worship. And for those who are watching and worshiping with us virtually, we welcome you also to our Vespers meeting. This month of December is always celebrated with good cheer and hope as we commemorate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. To share that blessing of hope and happiness, the music department of our church prepared a special program for two Friday nights. A Christmas cantata from our youth choir Saifan Force Choral and the adult back choir. This special program, though traditionally done every year, yet we believe that the message of the songs will bring us joy and happiness and new perspective always. Tonight, as part of the program's objective, the church would like to ask our love to support our church as it continues to serve our community, especially our less fortunate brothers and sisters. May this season of hope and good cheer will bring blessings and love to each of our hearts as we listen to the Christmas cantata of the Saipan Force Choral with their theme, Claiming the Infinite Gift. Once again, good evening and happy Sabbath.
What a wonderful experience to be together tonight, dear brothers and sisters. It is our great joy to praise the Lord tonight. Indeed, this is one of a kind. We celebrate this presbyting as part of the Sabbath, as part of our lifestyle as Seventh-day Adventist Christians. Tonight, dear friends, let us bring our undivided attention as we allow the Holy Spirit to speak into our hearts and into our minds through His messages tonight. I would like to request everyone to please bow your heads as I pray. Father in heaven, we bring glory to you. We adore you. To you, O Lord, you are worthy of our praise. Tonight, as we burst into this wonderful experience of listening, your message, the songs, it is my prayer that you will help us. And thank you for being with us tonight, O Lord. This I ask in Jesus' name. Amen.
salvation. That's why, dear friends, tonight, let us rejoice with exceeding great joy to Him, because He is our star.
salvation, the great I am. Luke chapter 2 verses 10 to 11 says, And the gospel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David, the Savior is Christ the Lord. My beloved brothers and sisters, the birth of Jesus at the manger reminds us of his humble beginnings. And we are reminded to love humankind through the example of Jesus. We fall our knees to worship Him in all. And we recall the true meaning of the birth of Jesus underneath that brightly shining star on that beautiful holy night. Thank you. 
our star. And aside from being Jesus is our star, He is as well our rock. Jesus is our rock. You know, in Israelites, understanding that God was not just one of the sources of their strength and protection, but He was their only strength. He was their only protection and safeguard and their only refuge. There is an implied supremacy here that points to the ultimate sovereignty of God. You know, in most Old Testament references, God is called as not just described as a rock, but a rock. And that means that He is our shield. He is our only shield, dear friends. Second Samuel chapter 22, verse 2 to 3 says, The Lord is my rock. My fortress and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge. My shield and my horn of my salvation. He is my stronghold, my refuge, and my savior. Dear friends, obviously, the Bible presents Jesus as the rock metaphorically. This, this, this talks about God being steadfast, immovable firm and will give us confidence dear friends so he is all about what happens in our world today he is the defender and we can defend as being the shelter of our weary soul he is immovable firm strong yet full of love and all brothers and sisters Christ is our solid rock we stand. Depend on my thoughts, not the way that I feel. 
stone was the principal stone usually placed at the corner of an edifice to guide the workers in their course and since, since ancient times builders have used corner stones in their construction projects and corner stone was usually one of the largest the most solid and the most carefully constructed of any in the edifice. The Bible describes Jesus as the cornerstone that this church would be built upon because He is the foundation. Without Jesus in our lives, we shall not be able to stand all the wiles of the devil. Once the cornerstone was set, dear friends, it became the basis of determining every measurement in the remaining construction everything was aligned to it and as the cornerstone of the building of the church jesus is our standard and measure and alignment psalm 118 verse 12 says or verse 22 says the stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone brothers and sisters jesus is our cornerstone Thank you. 
till his children free be from their home. He remains a part of Saturday, Sabbath, but we don't know what happens tomorrow, what will happen tomorrow, but we can still face tomorrow because He lives. Jeremiah 29, 11, the most favorite text for most of us, it says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and do not harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Loving brothers and sisters, my beloved friends here, Jesus is our future. We don't know what will happen, but when you can see or know the plan, trust the planner because Jesus is the one who holds tomorrow.
Sabbath that we have gathered together to bring the best we can offer to the Lord. And Jesus said, if you do this to the least of my brethren, you have done this to me. The best gift we can offer to the Lord is to serve the less fortunate individuals. And our church is doing every year, every month, every moment, and we have a regular ministry for that. Just this December, we serve more than 400 people in our community who are less fortunate through our Pamasqua. And we have served as well an amount to Luzon in, in Rizal and in Marikina. We sent an amount of money there and some stuff that we can help for that matter, victims of typhoid Ulysses. Dear friends, God is much more happy if we open our hearts to Him. He had given us everything. The star, the guide, the protection, the fortress, the future. He is everything. And He loves to see His people cheerfully giving something for the cause of His church. Dearly beloved, as Sir Bill Rader Guru will play the piano, our offering boxes are now prepared for you. And we are so willing and happy to receive your generosity, your heartfelt gratitude to the Lord for His church today. If you open your heart and mind, open also your pockets for the Lord. If you count the future that He prepared for you, the plans and the peace, the love that He has prepared for you, what we receive right now is not enough to compare the miraculous providence he has given us. As Sir Bill Ray plays the piano, you can now bring your love of praise and drop it on our offering boxes at the aisle.
praise the Lord. Dearly brothers and sisters, thank you for your benevolence for the church, and the Lord is happy about it. We bring this glory and honor to Him because He's not only our star, He's not only the mighty rock, He's not only the cornerstone, He's not only our future. But brothers and sisters, He is our King. He is the master builder. He is the master planner. And this King that holds tomorrow will be establishing and preparing for us the unshakable kingdom. Dearly beloved, I can't wait to live in that unshakable kingdom with Him. I hope so, that you have the same heart, longing for the kingdom, that unshakable kingdom. Still someone must go. 
Shall we all rise as we give glory and honor to the Lord for tonight's blessing that we have received from Him through the ministry of these fine young people, Saipan of course. Let us pray. Dear loving God, Father in heaven, we are thrilled and amazed and filled with goodness and blessings tonight as we contemplate and reflect on the messages of the songs that were rendered to us by these young people under the leadership of our choir master, Judge Joseph Pichu de Valencia. Indeed, dear Lord, you have used us all that even these young people were locked down at home for so many months because of the pandemic, yet right now, you've used them. Their voices reach unto the uttermost part of the most holy place in heaven. And we believe that you are so happy listening the words of songs and harmony of voices that united together in love tonight. Dear Father, I pray that you will always bless us. Bless these young people that through their talents, many people will be blessed, many people will be changed, and many hearts will be brought and lives and souls to your throne of grace. I also pray for the ministry of this church, the benevolence and the generosity of your people here, that every time we need help to share it to those who are in their lives, tough times, hard times, they are willing to open their hearts, open their minds, and open their pockets for you. And I also pray for the supportive parents who allow their children to come to church and to be sharing their talents to you. Bless them. Continue to give them the double portion of the Holy Spirit. And I also pray for the music ministry of this church. The music ministry of this church has touched lives from the little children up to the young people. And this coming Friday again, our choir will be giving again musical presentation to praise you and give honor to you. So dear Lord, continue to empower us. And as a minister of the gospel, I will raise my hand about these young people right now. Please, Lord, give the double portion of your Holy Spirit. And at the same time, the choir master, Judge Joseph Gideoni Valencia, the choir members under Dr. Kagbay, and thank you for giving him, oh Lord, your healing at this time. We are so happy about your goodness to us. 
and all our members joining with us today, we are rallying with goodness and love to you because you allow us to be here. Bless all of these young people right now who made themselves available for you. They may not be, they may not be perfect at times, but thank you for using us. We have our own frailties and infirmities with us, but thank you for using us. Thank you for giving the infinite gift. Jesus Christ, our star. Jesus Christ, our rock. Jesus Christ, our cornerstone. Jesus Christ, our future. And Jesus Christ, our king, who will be establishing and is preparing right now for us an unshakable kingdom. May your love be upon us tonight. Thank you for the blessing. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for allowing us to hear the voice of heaven tonight. And this is the preliminary voices that we must have to be hearing continually when we will be in that heavenly home to prepare for us in Chicago. Thank you for the love. Thank you for your blessing. Thank you for the early mission of your goodness that you have given us tonight, preparing us for the eternal home. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless us all. Happy Sabbath and good night.